Hey guys, it's been a bit, but I'm back. And today I'm reviewing the Nerf uh, Instrike Elite 2.0 Moto Blitz. It's a little big for my area, but that's fine. This was released in 2021 or 2022. I don't remember. I think it was 2022. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, it is a bullpup semi-auto flywheel blaster with an air pump on the front. Uh, and if you don't know what bullpup means, the magazine goes in behind uh, the trigger. So let's start up at the front. Non-strike barrel lug, bummer. But here's the thing that most people come to this blaster for, the air pump. Basically, it takes six darts to the front, front, not frump. Uh, you pump it up like eight times, and you push this button on the side, and it shoots six darts out. Not the greatest air-powered blaster we have ever seen, but it is pretty good, considering that Nerf doesn't really make them anymore, because they know what people would do to it. Um, a little further back, we have our three tack rails, two on the side, one on top of the scope. Uh, the scope is in line with the stock a little, so it's very hard to see through it, because you can't really swish your face down to look through it. So if you want a scope, you should just put one on top. Here's the trigger. Triggers, uh... Pull that down, pull down the rev trigger, then you pull the normal trigger to shoot a dart. Some people say that it feels different than normal blasters. I don't feel it, as I don't use those ones anymore very much, because they're all not very good anymore. Not because, like, they're bad, I mean, just, they're wearing out right now. Excuse you? What are you doing? You, what are you doing? Anywho, right here is the battery tray. It takes four AA batteries. This is just one screw. You have to take it out and get right to it. Pretty simple. Back here is the stock. There is a jam door right here. Open that, get into it. it doesn't provide super much room though, if I rem if I remember correctly. Yeah, not a huge amount of room, but there's some room to get in there. Please, there you go. Um, put the stock, of course, holds the magazine right there. And since the magazine is not up here where the pump would be, it's got a slightly different mag release. It's this little paddle at the back. So it's very easy to grab with your thumb when you're reaching back. I just heard two really loud thunks. I'm pretty sure that's from across the street because they're tearing up a sidewalk. So if you guys can hear that, no, you don't. No, uh, but it came with this 10 round banana mag. Did you see, it says a nerf right here. Wow. Splendid, wonderful. So, to operate the blaster, pull down the rev trigger, pull down the main trigger, and then you're blasted. And for the front gun, pump it. Really, however many times you want, there's an overpressure valve to keep it from exploding. Then you press the button on either side of the blaster. You shoot six starts out. Now we're gonna jump over to the firing demo and shoot some darts. Starting off the firing demo with a mixture of dart zone waffle heads and X shot waffle heads.
front gun. And coming back with the exact same mixture. There we go. That's how you use a front pump shotgun. Wow, that sure was a electric firing demo. I wouldn't know, I didn't film it yet. So, this blaster works pretty well. It works like most other flywheel blasters. It shoots roughly the 70 FPS. I don't know, don't have a chronograph. That's what everybody else says it's shooting. So I'm gonna say it is. And that's pretty good considering that it has about here and up of just pure barrel. Plenty of opportunity for barrel dry. The main thing that you gravitate towards this blaster for is the front pump right here. What I think of this blaster. It's a pretty cool blaster. It's, you get it and you, you know, you get what you expect. You have a front pump and you have a Strife, essentially. Not the Strife X. It'd be really cool if this was a Strife X with a front pump air gun. That'd be awesome. But, I mean, that's what you come to expect. Because that's what it is. It's a, it's a Raven with a front pump on the front. But I say this is a 9 out of 10. If it shot, you know, like pro performance, then it would be even better. But for what it is, it's pretty good. You get what you expect. You don't you have like zero issues with it. Of course, you have to like, if you pump it before the game, you're going to have to pump it occasionally just in case if somebody jumps out in front of you, you go, ah, and press the trigger. I mean, that's what it's there for. You keep your hand, like, right here as you're going through. Somebody jumps out, bang. You don't have to think about it. Or if you're in a tight hallway and you just need to shoot off a shot. <coughs> Some people talk about wanting to be quiet as you enter a room in a CQB match, which I don't think that matters very much. They could probably hear you walking around. But yeah, this blaster is a nine out of 10. If you want it, you should get it. Uh, I recommend that you get it. It's one of the best Nerf blasters that are out on the market that has been made by Nerf right now. Because, you know, some of, you know, like the Strife X still hasn't come out yet. But you pre-order it for $120, which is a little much, a little much more than I have. So I don't think I'll ever talk about that. But yeah, if you want it, get it. If you don't want it, if you don't want it, don't get it. Anyways, that's it. Bye bye.